Many Japanese were pleased a global conference rejected a proposal to ban the export of Atlantic bluefin tuna. Fishmonger Yoshiaki Saito said a ban would have caused trouble. It's true that the Japanese consume tuna the most, but the impact of the ban, if it had passed, would not be limited only in Japan, but would be all over the tuna-related industry across the world. For us working in the industry to offer tuna to the customers, the news came as a relief. But it wasn't just businessmen who hailed the action. Some Japanese consumers, who gobble up 80% of the global stocks of Atlantic bluefin, much of it in sushi, were happy too. I was glad to hear the news that I like to eat tuna. When I first saw the news on TV, I said to myself, that was good. One conservationist had called the defeat of the ban proposal irresponsible. And in Paris, fishmonger Adrien Rubimi echoed the concerns of those who fear for the future of the tuna species that used to be abundant. Yes, it is threatened. We must change the way we fish. We must stop using these big trawlers that weed and destroy the ocean ground. The Japanese are urging tighter regulation and quotas for Atlantic bluefin instead of an export ban. But many environmentalists have heard similar vows before only to see promises broken and tuna numbers continuing to plummet. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.